The man to man. Crab at the top. Lines up at three over Newbill. That's long. Camp to three rebound free in the lane. Right to Johnson. A good rebounding point guard for Southern Miss. 55 seconds in. No score. Cross midcourt. Angelo Johnson left side. Averaging six assists a game. Dry to the top still with a dribble. Right wing goes to R.L. Horton outside the arc. Right baseline. A.R. is a pump fake. Moves in. Fade away from ten. Right of the key. Around and in. Over Sanders. Fryson and Southern Miss on the board first. Yeah, that was a, just an isolation play. Step back jumper. That's tough to defend. You just try to make it as tough as possible when he got the bounce. The 6'9 senior from Panama City went to Cuesta Junior College down in the Monterey Peninsula. And a foul off the ball as Cal brought the ball to the floor. Crab had a right wing, but underneath an illegal screen against Marcurry Sanders Fryson. First team foul on Cal, and the Bears give it away. 18.37 to go in the first half. Southern Miss leading it 2-0. Here is Johnson to walk it up. Might be the only time we say that all day. It might be. Johnson across the top from right to left. Moves in left of the lane. Left wing Newbill against Crab. Ayarza at wing on the drive by Newbill. First on Crab. That's two on Cal. Already Larry Eustachia on the Southern Miss bench has lost the jacket. Didn't have a tie no, to begin with. A tie. Ca casual Sunday for Larry Eustachia. Yeah, it's California. Baseline left, Johnson plays it in. Bears 2-3 zone off the inbound. Flowers drives in from the left. Goes to Newville, powers his way to the goal. Down low right, and lays it in. It's 4-0 Southern Miss. Yeah, that was just way too easy. You know, the Bears on defense look like they're in, they've got their feet in cement right now. It's just a very lethargic start. Gutierrez across midcourt. Crab right wing, Gutierrez drives in left to the lane, forced back out. Left side with the ball, 20 to shoot. Out near midcourt against Angelo Johnson. Bears still looking to get on the board. Right elbow Sanders, Fryson. One dribble, gives to Crab at the top, moves into the key. Pass off to the right, deflected by Yarza, running out on the backcourt by Franklin off a deflection. The Bears have seven to shoot. Franklin up the right side. Stutter step, pull up three, right wing, rattles out, and the rebound. Johnson is fouled by Camp. And another rebound for Angelo Johnson, the third foul on the Bears, and the first on Harper Camp. Well, the Bears have uh, committed three fouls already, and, and all three of them kind of, you know, a little bit silly fouls. Harper maybe give him the, the best justification going for a loose ball but uh, the other two fouls you know not real strong Johnson front court right off a of Flowers screen double team gives to Flowers right corner Flowers against Sanders Fryson looks to isolate pull up 17 footer right wing banks it in high off the window from the tough angle it's six nothing Southern Miss well I don't know if he wanted to do that or not but he is a good perimeter shooter so we'll give him the benefit of the doubt Gutierrez to the top for Camp and a reach in foul. Flower is trying to gamble for the steal. Reach in against Camp in the first foul against Southern Miss. 17-13 to go first half. It's 6-0 Golden Eagles. Sideline left. Crab will play it in here. Tight man-to-man -man from Newville. Camp at the top. Swings it right for Franklin against Horton. Down low right for Camp. Or rather, Crab on the block. Looks to spin inside. Turn around from five. Banked it in. Posting up the smaller Newville. And Crab scores to get the Bears on the board. He did that once against San Diego State. And I'd like to see that more often because he has the ability to score inside with long arms. Up the right side. Johnson right corner. Flowers fires a three. That's long. And the rebound. Gutierrez dribbles it up one on two. Jorge down the center. Attacks the goal into the key. Fading to his left. Around. The shot bounces out. Sanders Fryson fights for the rebound. But Newville controls for Southern Miss. Up the left side, Johnson for Southern Miss. Flowers at the top, got away with a walk. Moves into the key ball, stripped by Gutierrez. They're calling a foul on Ore. Fourth team foul against Cal. Actually, Camp called for his second, not Gutierrez. And that's two on Harper Camp with 16.36 left in the first half. Yeah, and he's a guy that the Bears need on the floor. He does so many things, not just scoring and rebounding, but his cerebral approach to the game, setting the defense, picking up guys, switching on a high screen and roll. So... This is a key moment now for Richard Solomon, who hasn't had a, a lot of playing time in the last two games. See how he handles this. Off the inbound right wing, Horton is Richard Solomon, the 6'10 freshman from L.A. Checks in for him. Horton off a screen, moving to his left. Rattles home a three from right at the top, and it's 9-2, Southern Miss. Well, they came ready to play today. They, they look sharp, and the Bears almost have foul on Jorge. They're going to call a block instead on Horton. Up the right sideline at midcourt. Horton tried to draw the offensive foul, couldn't get it. His first foul, the second on the Golden Eagles. 9-2 Southern Miss. There's just one of five from the floor to start it. Solomon averaging four and a half points, four and a half rebounds in for Camp with the two fouls. Gutierrez right wing, 
Solomon at the top, right wing for Gutierrez, down the right for Sanders, Fryson, right of the key, moves inside, spinning, right block, turnaround, shot good off the window. Left-handed stroke by Sanders, Fryson makes it 9-4, Southern Miss. Yeah, good patience, too. He saw the double team coming. He spun the other way to get away from the double. Here's a three from the top, good by Flowers, left to the top over Solomon. And Gary Flowers with a Golden Eagles second three, and it's 12-4. Southern Miss. That's going to be a tough matchup for Richard Solomon. Right wing Gutierrez at the top. Franklin left corner for Crab. Looks to move in at Newville. Steps back out to the wing. Picks up his dribble. Feeds a cutting Gutierrez in the lane. Draws contact. Shot spins out. Has a nice cut. Knifing right down the middle of the key. Drawing the foul on Ayarza. Tried to draw the charge. And two free throws on the other side of a timeout for Gutierrez. 15.38 to go first half. Golden Eagles out to a 12-4 lead on the Cal Sports Network from IMG College. New voice messages. Mike, it's Taylor, your favorite all-pro running back. Man, you missed my 46-yard TD run last night. Dinner with your wife is more important than the team? Whatever. Yo, Mike, it's Buckner, the center for your hoops team. What's with you hitting the hardware store while I'm in a playoff game? Thanks a lot. In sports, any second can be the second. Download game highlights, scores, and stats with the nation's fastest 3G network. AT&T. Rethink possible. Certain geographic other monthly charges and restrictions apply. 3G not available in all areas. See store for details. Barney & Barney has provided premier insurance, risk management, and employee benefits solutions since 1909. In 2008, Barney & Barney merged with Sailor & Hill Company to form what is now the 29th largest insurance brokerage nationwide. Barney & Barney is a proud sponsor of Cal Athletics. Whether you need a seasoned coach to help navigate changes in employee benefits legislation or a star player with skills to lower insurance costs and reduce risk, Barney & Barney is your team. BarneyandBarney.com. Ensure your success. Today's game brought to you in part by State Farm Insurance, a proud sponsor of Cal basketball, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Today's game also brought to you in part by Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola Zero, a proud sponsor of Cal Athletics. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Try Coke Zero today. Southern Miss out to a 12-4 lead on the Bears. 15-38 to go first half. And Todd, we talked about it. This is a veteran team. Maybe people look at the schedule. They go, oh, Southern Miss. I don't know. It's another gimme win for the Bears. No, sir, this is a good basketball team, and the Bears in the first four minutes and 22 seconds are seeing that firsthand. And uh, at the defensive end, the Bears just have not shown any energy. They haven't challenged many shots. Uh, Southern Mississippi has had pretty much whatever they want at the offensive end, so the Bears are going to have to jack it up at that end. So two shots for Gutierrez, first shot of the way, and it's in. Jorge for the year now, 83% from the stripe, fifth in the Pac-10. First point today. One more shot coming. Gutierrez was a perfect 9 of 9 from the line against San Diego State Wednesday, and he buries the second one as well. 12-6 Golden Eagles. The Bears picking up a little 1-2-2 pressure here, trying to get into a rhythm. Up to left sideline, Southern Miss breaks it. Arl Horton drives it from the left, goes by Crab. He is fouled and counted second foul on Allen Crab. I got to think that's Richard Solomon's fault there. I, I don't think he was supposed to come into the front court and double team there. He did, and then that turned the... Uh, Golden Eagles loose, and so they go to the free throw line for now the opportunity for conventional three-point play. Horton, 82% foul shooter, 14-6 Golden Eagles. 15 and a half to go first half. Horton to the end one, moving in left of the lane, and gets the end one by bearing the free throw. Nigel Carter comes in, replacing Crab, who has to sit down with the two fouls, and the Bears are down nine here. Already five team fouls on Cal, two each on Crab and Camp. The starting forwards. Gutierrez against pressure. Right sideline across for Carter up the left sideline. Gets it across. Lays it back for Gutierrez in the handoff left sideline. Outstretched against Johnson. Holding the ball. Now moves in against the transfer. Off of Sanders. Fryson pick. Moves in right of the key. Right corner. Carter lines up a three. Good. Nigel Carter right off the bench. And he hits his fifth three of the year. He is five of eight from beyond the arc this year. And four of those five three-pointers have been really big three -pointers. Flowers at the top, moves in at Solomon, right up. Horton 
Off to his right, off of Sanders, Freisen screen, moves in left of the lane. Jorge tries to turn the corner, but can't. Solomon is straight on three from the top. Good, Richard Solomon with his second three of the year, and it's a three-point game all of a sudden. Back-to-back -back threes for the Bears, 15-12, Golden Eagles. Well, Solomon came up with a big rebound moments ago. Now he hits a big three-pointer. He's capable of knocking him down from beyond the arc. He's got a good stroke. Johnson brings it up, drops it off for Horton at the top. Left wing for Newbill. They're looking to drive and kick. That's what they do. Horton left wing, 15 to shoot for the Golden Eagles. Johnson between the circles. Right corner off the screen. Flowers, 18-footer, no good. Weak side rebound. Carter inside position is grabbed by Newbill in the second foul on the freshman, D.J. Newbill. Nice job by Carter. Good positioning in there. He was more concerned about the box out than going for the ball. That's a, that's a good job inside. First. Personal, actually, a new bill. Fourth against Southern Miss. Brandon Smith coming in for Cal. And with 14.04 to go in the half, replaces Franklin, the 5'11 sophomore from San Ramon, averaging four points and three assists a game. So that'll move Jorge over to the two spot. And Larry Eustace wants time here where the Bears put it in. 15-12 Golden Eagles with 14.04 to go in this first half. Cal basketball brought to you in part by your Northern California Toyota dealers. More people say yes to Toyota than any other brand in California. Learn why at your Toyota dealer today. Today's game also brought to you in part by United Healthcare, helping people live healthier lives. Bears starting to pick it up a little bit, getting a little bit of a jump start after a late wake-up call. They got down by nine early, and they've cut it to three. Well, the guys off the bench are going to be critical in this first half because Harper Camp with two, he is going to have to sit for a long time. It'll be interesting to see what they do with the rotation with Mark Curry because they usually like to give him a break right about now. But with Harper on the bench, I'm not sure that uh, Coach Montgomery wants to go with both Bach Bach and Richard Solomon at the same time. So I think that rotation will be very important and interesting to watch. Smith, Gutierrez, Carter, Solomon, and Sanders Fryson right now. Southern Miss has gone with their starters the entire way. Smith up the right side. Backdoor cut, Solomon knifes right down the key and lays it in off a sweet pass for Brandon Smith. Southern Miss put him the fake at the top, and Solomon backdoored him for the lay-in. Eight straight for the Bears to top, bring the Bears within one. And instead of dunking it, because he missed the dunk earlier this year, he just kind of laid it in. Johnson to the top, forced out near midcourt, finds Ayarza, drives in down the right, and his runner is good off the window. Josemar Ayarza with the hoop. 17-14 Golden Eagles, 13 and a half to go in the first half. Up the floor, Brandon Smith for Cal. Dribbles right against R.L. Horton. Left wing, Carter. Guarded by Newbill. Curling off a screen from the left. Into the key. Foul line, pull-up shot. Gutierrez got knocked down, missed it short. Rebound, Horton. Here comes Southern Miss. Running up the right side, Horton. Looks to attack. Forced out by Smith. Stutter step move in the lane. Pull-up from 12 is short. And the rebound batted around, and it's controlled by Carter. Bears doing a nice job on the glass so far. Smith up the right side. Moves to the center and backs it away from Horton. Off to the left sideline against the senior R.L. Horton. Moves in left of the lane, drives it into the basket. Right corner for Carter. He dribbles the wing. Newbill falls down. Carter stumbles his way inside. Drops it up for Solomon, who's fouled to the rim down the left. Two free throws for Richard Solomon. Southern miss foul. It's, jo it's Gary Flowers, his second. Well, that's, that's troublesome for Southern Miss. It is. I mean, they, have, uh, you know, they play a lot of people, but Flowers is clearly their guy. Leads them in blocked shots, leads them in scoring. And give uh, Nigel Carter some credit. He uh, had a wide open three on the wing, but he bobbled a pass, and so he didn't panic, kind of wove his way through the paint, and Solomon makes the first free throw, and then a nice little dump down to Solomon, who couldn't finish, but uh, makes a rare free throw for him. He's now just 5 for 17 at the line. Solomon with six points already. 17-15, yep. one more shot. Sanders Fryson gets a breather as Bach-Bach is in for the first time. 6'9", sophomore, born in the Sudan.